Hi, this is Don Mays, and <clears throat> this is a, uh, another video uh, describing the use of Boyum. In this particular case, it's not going to be especially um, complex. I'm going to go in and run a Boyum report, but what I am going to show you is how to set up a QR code on a um, Crystal report. So, and then we'll be, we'll be accessing Boyum from uh, within the item master screen. Uh, but most of it will not be Boyum. Uh, so let's kind of go through this. First of all, you need SAP Business One version 10 in order to have the QR codes. You can do things like advertising uh, using the QR codes. You can have them redirected to your website. You could have uh, item information that that stores very specific uh, information and you could give them the URL in a QR code and they could directly access that information. In this example, we're gonna go basically show you uh, printing of QR codes and uh, we're gonna do it with a, with a, a label uh, on an item master. So here we have an item master part <clears throat> and I've got a, uh, if you go to the sales data, you will see a uh, create QR code from. And this information right in here, uh, what I'm doing is I am redirecting you to uh, a Macedon page uh, in my, on my website. Uh, it could be any kind of a page that is accessible and public uh, publicly available. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on a label print and you can see the label print. And if you were to hover your phone over this and take a look at what it says, when you're hovering over it, it says Macedon.com. And then if you click on it, it will go to the BOM enhancements for the Macedon.com. So, how did we do all of this to make it, and this is just a simple little label, and it's printing the label for the part that's currently on the uh, SAP screen. Uh, and so we could do other parts as well. I've got just a straight uh, link to my Macedon uh, file, and again, it just shows a little different. Okay, so let's stop right here. We're going to go into Crystal Reports. And I'm going to show you how we did this label. Okay, so now we're in, in uh, Crystal Report, and I've got my test label in here. And it is the same as the um, prior one that you saw that was accessed within SAP. And this is information that's here. So let's take a look at the fields. Um, we've got some database fields here. I've got an item command string that I... Um, keyed in and then I've got the QR command string as well and we'll take a look at these two strings this one here is is it's fairly simple it's just select item code item name doc entry object code and uh, QR code source from the OITM file okay so that one's a fairly simple one let's take a look at it um, we'll edit that command and as, as I just said I'm selecting the name uh, all the way these fields from OITM and and I'm just checking and say where the um, QR code source is not null because otherwise there's no point in um, Printing it because I won't have a, a label. I could Ignore this and get this out of here if I want to print labels with or without uh, the QR codes So that code is pretty simple. Let's look at the QR command. It's a little uh, bit different not not difficult to understand the information for the QR code is in a, a table called OQRC and I'm going to pick up the um, file container um, file this information is uh, the information that is uh, being displayed uh, for instance, the www.macedon.com. Then I've got the object and the absolute code. So the absolute code right in here is uh, the doc entry for most of the documents, either the invoices or sales orders, or even the item master. And the 
object type for uh, the item master is, is, uh, is four. It could be 17 for sales orders, uh, etc. Uh, so you can have a whole bunch of different ones. So that is how we have these commands. They're fairly simple commands. And then I've linked those commands. Let me show you that as well. Uh, it's fairly simple. It's the item command. I'm linking the doc entry over to the object absolute and the object type to the object type. And that in a nutshell is that I'm ignoring this uh, more than one data source. I'm going to go in and have my parameter values, which are nothing more than what part number I want to do. Okay, and then I, I print the report. So that's as simple as it is. Um, here in the parameters, all I've got here is a get item, and that's uh, how I am getting it within SAP. So I'll show you the uh, uh, the Boyum uh, universal function that is actually doing the printing. But here's your uh, QR code. Now we're back to SAP, and I've got a label print button right in here. I put that in there with just the item placement tool configurator, and all I've done is say part label, and I put it above the BOM reports. Uh, and I've also said that it's not active except when it's okay, which means that there is a uh, item master part that's, a, that's available. Then I have, for this, I have a um, B1 validation setup, and that's for printing the label. And if I go to this one right in here, it's going to a, a standard uh, crystal report uh, function. So I, this is where I've stored my label. And I've got a one variable, and that's $5.0.0, uh, .0, which is the item master uh, file. So that's how I've set it all up. And as you see, it's relatively easy to go in and actually just print a label um, and right directly from the item master. We could do the same sort of thing from uh, any one of these other documents, like an invoices, for an example. The difference is it's not, it's no longer going to be, um, it's, good, it's no longer going to be um, uh, object type is going to be four. It's going to be 17 in the case of uh, um, sales orders. I think it's 13 is your uh, AR invoices. Uh, those are all just codes that you need to need to understand. So Okay, so more information about that. I've got a Word document explaining exactly how I uh, develop QR codes. I've got a couple other examples other than just the, uh, the part. I, I also show it for Crystal Reports. And then I give you a number of suggestions as to what you could uh, link in the QR code so that uh, you have some business ideas as to how it can be utilized to uh, improve your business processes. If you've got any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 248-568-0418 or send me an email at donm at Thank you for watching.